Item Number SCP-2600-EX Object Class Explained Special Containment Procedures Any tributaries believed to contain SCP-2600 breeding grounds are to be dynamited immediately. Deceased specimens are to be brought to Research Station 2600 Prime. Specimens of SCP-2600 found alive are to be contained immediately. Personnel are to notify the Site Director immediately of alive specimens contained. No special containment procedures are needed for SCP-2600-EX at this time. SCP-2600-EX is an anomalous species of trout located in The trout are cytologically identical to speckled trout, but have shaggy white fur covering 90% of their bodies. It is not known what purpose this fur serves, but it is hypothesized that the trout have much lower body temperatures than normal speckled trout. No specimen of SCP-2600-EX have been discovered alive to date, and it is believed that their spawning ground is in a location not normally inhabited by speckled trout, such as an underground reservoir. All specimens of SCP-2600-EX currently in the Foundation's possession were deceased upon discovery. SCP-2600-EX is believed to have the ability to transfer its fur to normal speckled trout via unknown means. Normal speckled trout tout with Foundation micro-radio beacons have turned up bearing SCP-2600-EX's distinctive fur. The following log contains notes made by SCP-2600-EX's research director, James Dobson. It is currently believed that Director Dobson was influenced by the folklore and culture that he experienced growing up in the area he was researching. This is the probable cause of the highly unprofessional and dishonest way he behaved during his tenure as SCP-2600-EX's research director. January 15, 1919 Due to my history with the area and knowledge of lore surrounding it, I have been selected as SCP-2600's research director. Words do not do justice to the excitement I feel. Ever since I was a boy I have dreamed of catching the furred trout, and now I am in charge of the world's most advanced lab completely dedicated to it. I have handpicked the personnel that are going to work for me. They all have the youth and zeal to get the job done. February 2, 1919 Research station has been finished. All of my staff tell me of their excitement. As the primary research director, I have been allotted my own office. I put a stuffed fur trout over my door. Although it may be fake, my staff seem to find it amusing. April 3, 1919 a real breakthrough, Lawrence was out in the field today checking some of the local waterways when he found a deceased instance of SCP-2600. I have ordered greater exploration of the area Lawrence found it at. Gave Lawrence a little bonus while I was at it. I've got research on top priority doing tests on it. We'll have our data soon, and to think I was starting to get discouraged. June 21, 1919 Nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. That's all we got from the test. No major differences, no anomalous properties, just a trout with fur. And right before our annual review, I will have to come up with a solution quickly. August 8, 1919 I can't believe I did it, but I had to. We're just so close to achieving a breakthrough. I couldn't have let them take my team apart. I had Byrne draw up some speculative research. But it's okay. The review period is over. If we can find a real one, I can make my new report confirming our hypotheses to add to the main document. I have faith we will be okay. November 1, 1919 Nothing. Still nothing. None of our results gave us any new data. It's like we've been sitting on our hands for months. We had nothing for the document, so I had to tell staff that we had results that confirmed them and added it to the report. But we'll get real results soon. I can feel it in my gut. January 3, 1920 My nightmare has come true. Our records are being audited. They're going to go through all of our papers. They're going to see what's different. No, I have research working triple overtime to get anything. All my agents are in the field looking for the possible spawn points I mapped in the document. We can't fail now. I just can't. February 17, 1920 I've ordered agents to start dynamiting the places I've marked as spawn points. They can't use it against me if I put it out of commission. I can explain it. I'll say they got dangerous. It'll work. I'll be okay. Be okay. Be okay. I need to be okay. March 3, 1920 I think it's over. I'm sitting in this tiny office. They have the records. I know that any day now I'm going to get that call, and I'll sit in a tiny cell, and they'll ask me about my research. Blast. I can't do it anymore. I'm downing patent medicine in bulk. My staff knows the truth of what I've been up to. I think everyone hates me. I'm going to lose everything I've been working to. I didn't do anything to hurt anyone. I just wanted truth. 
Notice to all personnel. Director Dobson has been relieved of his position. Our investigation found a ring of researchers working with the director falsifying research documents and manipulating data in order to justify further research. As of now, our data shows SCP-2600 is nothing more than a fungal infection. It has been designated explained. You will all be receiving relocation notices to projects more worthy of your time. 05-9